For the very latest news from Thailand, this is the Fabulous Patia Media Group. If you could like and subscribe, well, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Soaring temperatures hit much of Thailand yesterday, seeing the capital registering 38 degrees at times and our own region 36. Storms, though, have seen a little respite, but the hot season is well and truly here. In the north, Pitsanulok and Pechaboon registered close to 40 at one point during the day, dropping then to a much cooler 24 at night, and similar heat has been listed for most of the country. Bail was granted yesterday for the second ex-politician to return here from exile abroad. Following Taksin Shinawat's return, accommodation and then release, it was the turn this week of a former minister, Khun Jakrapob, to arrive at the airport. Facing old charges of colluding and causing an illegal assembly as part of a red shirt group, he was duly processed and bailed on a 400,000 baht surety. With the heat here and added storms, we can expect an increase in mosquito population in Thailand, an issue that's causing serious concern, as to date over 20,000 cases of dengue have been reported this year so far across the nation. The reminder is out again to remove any stagnant water, such as in pots from around homes. So far, 27 deaths this year have been attributed to the disease. Thailand's Board of Investment has announced plans to give tax breaks to larger event organisers in an effort to promote the so-called event-rated tourism that saw Singapore, as an example, busy with overseas fans for Taylor Swift this year. Already this year, promising a Japanese festival, Summer Sonic, in the capital, that's expected to see some 350,000 people attend. And in 2026, Thailand will host the global favourite Tomorrowland Dance Festival. Air India is reported to have terminated the employment of a pilot who flew from Phuket to India, where he was found to be under the influence of alcohol after landing there, which means that he'd already completed his flight. Last week's firing hasn't been hidden in any way by the national airline, which plans to publicise his name, a move which would make him unemployable in the aviation industry. It seems that booze testing is quite common for Air India staff on international flights, but the penalties are reported as normally just three months licence suspension within the country for first-time offenders, and we're told it takes three strikes before licences are taken away permanently. When a foreign man decided it was OK to steal a motorbike from a rental shop on Samui, he probably didn't bargain on CCTV. The 56-year-old appears to have simply gone inside, picked his ride and fled. But as he rode it to an island ferry port, so cops were on his trail. Herr Obritzberger managed to elude them for a while, but after a three-week local investigation, he was spotted. Yet the bike looked different, now a new colour and with different plates. He agreed, though, that it was him in the CCTV recordings, proclaims that he never stole a bike in his life. Ko Samuri courts will decide his fate. In Udon Thani, when motel staff called police to a rented room, they found an Isan woman who claimed that she'd been tricked into going there with a local man. It seems that they met online and that's where her and his story diverge. She claims that she was shot when he took her to the room after a meal and planned simply to meet up. She also stated that he'd claimed to be a policeman, but in reality is a cattle dealer. The slight difference, along with a fake photograph on his profile, according to her, put paid to any fittings of romance, which is why she kicked up a stink and motel staff heard it. He, though, has a different story, claiming that yes, they met online, but she had offered to come and see him unpartake in nocturnal adventures for a fee, as she was low on funds. What's more, he had their chat history in his phone. We had no charges pressed. The police were kind enough to drop her off at the bus station so that she could return to her home. No word on whether she got paid. Meanwhile at home, and now Jomtien authorities have apologised and promised a quick clean-up of debris flushed onto a beach area from drainage pipes, explaining that the recent seriously heavy downpour overloaded their drainage systems. With the beaches along the seafront normally pristine now, Authorities were out straight away with red faces, ensuring that the waters were once again safe for swimmers. And the city prepares for the music festival today and Saturday that will fill the frontage area with fans. As preparations underway, locals are advised to avoid the centre as traffic will be heavy and there will be diversions and road closures. The final week of music for now in the city, several well-known performers are expected to highlight the two-night event.
For today and the weekend, these hot temperatures are expected to remain, with a chance of storms in the region at any time, but otherwise full on the heat. And the Met Office promises highs of 33, dropping down to 28, but with the real feel of 39. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.